guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carly and I'm the owner of Carly's Creations and I'm so excited to be able to do this tumbler for you guys today. Uh, it's a unicorn burst tumbler, which I'm sure by now you have seen everywhere. Um, mine is a little different because of the different kind of cup I used. So I've had this twist cup on my shelf for a year. I don't know. I got it from Stainless Steel Depot a while ago just because I thought, you know, this is a really cool cup. And then all of a sudden I looked down the shelf and I was like, perfect unicorn burst so we're gonna work on that today they are so beautiful look how beautiful they come out tell me that's not the perfect cup for this so I hope you enjoy this as always let me know if you have any questions below don't forget to hit that subscribe button I love to have you stick around join us on Facebook Carly's Creations Tumblers and more and let's get designing All right, so we have our cup all prepped and ready to go and it has just been sprayed with our white flat paint. And we're also gonna use a paintbrush. I'm using this one I got from, I think Walmart, a cup of water and our paint. So I'm gonna use a yellow, a brighter pink and a bright teal. We want brighter colors because we're gonna be putting glitter and um, spray paint and all these other things on top. So we we want to make sure that we use brighter colors underneath so you see them um, well once you get all that other stuff on there. All right, and so this is why I love this style cup for this design because it kind of gives you a guideline as to where you're gonna put your colors here, just a little helpful. And so we're just gonna go ahead and do one color at a time and we're gonna get a little bit of paint on our brush, not too much, and just kind of very gently swipe up, swipe up and down, excuse me, right in the middle where our lines are here. And don't worry about going up too high or too low, we're gonna spray that later, so. Don't stress too much over it, but we're just, you can kind of see it, I'm almost barely even touching the cup. We're just very gently just swiping those colors on. And I'm just going to alternate between the three colors and go all the way around the cup until the middle part is all complete. And then we will start to blend our colors together.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start blending. I have a little bit of each color in my brush, and we're just gonna very lightly swipe right in between these two colors here. You can kind of see that I left a little bit of a white gap. This is, this is why. <laughs> so not only does this obviously help us blend our colors together, but if you notice, it creates a whole new color. So it does give like a purple lavender kind of hue to it. And so this will bring in new colors so we don't just have our three colors, which then brings in our rainbow. So it's really pretty and really fun to see how these colors combine together and the colors that they create within the colors. And um, I just love how it looks. So we're just going to keep doing the same exact thing, same exact technique, kind of dipping on our little plate here, a little bit of each colors, and just very, very softly swiping right in between until we have the whole, you know, center part of the cup all combined and just to kind of get that look that you want. And then we're going to let this fully dry and we're going to move to our next step. Okay, so our cup is dried. We are going to get our white spray paint here and we're going to very carefully just spray a little bit of white on the bottom part of our cup and the white part of our cup. Obviously, we're not going to get the center because that would defeat the whole purpose, but I'm just doing light spurts. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm not continuously holding my finger down. The last thing you want is drip marks on your cup. So we're just doing kind of little spurts and just very carefully getting a little bit of the white just on the top and the bottom and that's going to give a nice flow to our cup. Okay, so our paint is dried. Now we're gonna move to our glitter. So we're gonna use the Tacket method. I did get this on Amazon. And we're gonna place a little bit on our cup here and just brush it on with our brush. I have seen where some people mix, I've actually seen some people mix with epoxy. I've seen some people 
mix like a one-to-one -one ratio with water. I didn't. I just put it right on the cup and it worked just fine for me. So we're not doing a thick layer, just a very thin layer and just make sure it's on there very smooth. You don't have any streaks or clumps and we're going to let this dry. So it'll take probably about five minutes or so, I think is what it took to dry. And I kind of just hold it over a heater and uh, once it's dry, you'll feel that it's tacky. Um, and then that's when we'll move to our glitter. All right, so it is glitter time. We're gonna use I Smell Snow, which is one of our new glitters you can find on my website. And Frosty would actually work really well for this um, cup too. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that we really get some good coverage on here. Dump that glitter on, do not be shy. Make sure you get all of the rim in the middle and don't forget your bottom and just get a really good coat of glitter here. Make sure you have that piece of paper underneath so you can put all that glitter back into your container. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and dump this back into the cup. That way I kind of keep it all separate. And then we're going to get our hand and just rub up and down that tumbler. And we're going to rub off all of that excess glitter that will fall onto that sheet there. And what that's doing is it's we're getting our glitter to lay nice and flat, which just gives it this beautiful, very subtle sparkle and shine and so just kind of keep rubbing until you get it all off it took me a few minutes to get it just to where I wanted and it's just oh it's already coming out so pretty and so once we get this all rubbed off we will go to our next step which is epoxy and then we're gonna add a little bit of a chunky glitter right in the middle there Okay, so we're ready for our epoxy. I did spray some of the Rust-Oleum Ultra Clear on here just to get it nice and sealed. And then we're gonna go ahead and add just a normal coat of epoxy here, not too thick, but enough to get everything sealed in. And then it's also gonna be enough to lay our chunky glitter right in the middle of our tumbler here.
Okay, so for the color that we're going to use in the middle, we're going to use Coachella, and it's from PDB Blinks, and I thought this would be just a really pretty soft accent, so usually I do take the shaker part off because it doesn't come out fast enough for what I'm doing, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and leave it on because I want it to just very softly and gracefully fall into the middle here. So as you can see, we're just going to go right in the middle first, and then we're just going to slowly work our way out, just kind of fanning out those colors a little bit. And we're just going to make sure that we don't put it on too thick. We're just putting a little bit on just to accent that middle and give it that burst look and feel to it. So um, once we have this done, we will let this spin about six to eight hours. And then from there, I will just add another coat of epoxy if you need to sand. That's when you would sand or if you were playing your vinyl, anything like that. For this cup, I'm not going to apply any vinyl. Usually I don't with the twist tumblers just because, you know, obviously it would kind of make some bumps in your vinyl there. And I feel like this cup is just so pretty that vinyl would just kind of take away from it. So I'm just going to leave it blank because it is going on my website. And then we get that final seal on and we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. They're actually very easy to do. And just so beautiful and so soft absolutely love them so again if you have any questions let me know below and we'll see you on the next video